excited today to give you a look at a brand new blonde in the Gabor line, new for 2019. This one's called Champagne, and it's GL61388 SS. I'll be presenting it on the style Radiant Beauty. in on these colors today I want to talk to you a little bit about this style now this style has been out for about four years now I actually have a first generation radiant beauty to show and compare uh, so looking at some of the specs for radiant beauty it's about a ten and a half inch piece here in the front and overall it's about 16 inches in length it features a temple to temple lace front and a left monofilament side part. I think these lace fronts are amazing on this style. You can tell that the knots are very fine. They do carry a highlight right up to the root and they do splice in some hair there at the edges of that lace front, which I think gives some amazing coverage. You can definitely see through to the illusion of scalp all the way back to the crown. This weighs about 3.7 ounces and features this gorgeous, um, kind of a deconstructed spiral wave, almost an air dried look. So describing the fibers on this style, the newer piece that I have has baby fine fibers, just really wispy, and very, very delicate. The density on this style is about average. So it's an average density, but very, very fine fibers, which makes it feel really lightweight. It has some beautiful movement to it. Now this style does have a lot of permatease. You're gonna find permatease all throughout the top of the cap, at the crown and back, um, quite heavy here at the nape and the temples. This style is one of the most beautiful styles that I've seen for updos. I absolutely love working with updos on this style and I'll go ahead and show you a few examples. But I think the reason why is because of all this beautiful curly texture. It's very separated and air dried uh, look, especially around the face. It kind of holds the integrity of the curl there. So all of those updos are just incredible. This would be amazing, amazing wedding hair or special occasion hair and or if you just wanted to get it out of the way. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So let's go ahead and break down this color, brand new for 2019, it's called Champagne GL61388SS. The base color on this is a very, very light, soft, baby gold blonde. It's very buttery in appearance. Then with the highlight color, it looks like it might even be in a very pale ash blonde, very close to a platinum shade. All of that is on a light brown root. This is considered a soft shade. And what that means is that uh, you'll see a subtle rooting, which kind of gets lighter as it goes out. That's a really well done root color. I think you would be very happy with it on this color. I think it blends in very nicely into this shade. It's not too dark as if to give a great contrast from the root to the main body of this color. 
So we just happen to have a piece here in the Soft Shades Sunkiss Beige by Gabor, which is GL 10123SS or 23101SS. I'm actually going from memory on that, but I have it here on Sweet Talk to compare. So here you go. Here is your Sunkiss Beige. This is really going to put this color champagne into perspective because on the Sunkiss Beige, you've got a mixture of some light. Uh, platinum shades and like an icy blonde mix and all of that is on a very pale root so this is quite a lot ashier in tone than the champagne color going back wearing the radiant beauty in the GL 1422 SS color so we want to compare up until now this was kind of the lightest uh, blonde that you were going to get unless you wanted to go with the sun kissed beige which is more on the platinum side of things the base color is a medium sandy blonde now it kind of gives you under certain light it, it kind of reminds me of like a warm honey blonde it's more neutral in tone but depending on what color it's next to or what you wear with it or what light it's in it almost can appear warm and then mixed in there then you're going to find some pale ash blonde so it's not quite platinum, but it is an ash blonde tone. And all of that is on a dark blonde root. Uh, but you can see where this root here is very brassy. 